Welcome back to part 14 of Password Cracking 101 plus 1. In the last video, we looked at uh, attacking emoji passwords, something a little bit different. Um, we branched outside of our comfort zone of kind of ASCII characters and looked towards more multi-byte UTF-8 encoded passwords, seeing how we could attack up to four bytes of UTF-8 using the hex equivalent in uh, the hex equivalent character sets. And by passing the hex char set switch to hashcat, we cracked a four emoji password, or a password that contains four emojis, I should probably say. We're now going to move on into something a little bit different and move away from Hashcat now into a different tool called MDX Find. Now, if you're in the interesting position where you have a, a large number of hashes or a number of unknown hashes, MDX Find can really come to the rescue here. Um, the original site, hashes.org, where this used to be found is no longer available, but uh, Taicho Tithness, Royce Williams, has a uh, mirror that he maintains, and you can find it there. There is a bit of a usage guide, and you can find... Uh, a, a, a select number of blogs online that I found where you can get some kind of usage examples and use cases. Um, another one of these tools that's not quite as well known as I feel it should be. This is a CPU cracker, so we're moving away from from GPUs here. Um, and um, MDX Find has been designed for speed. I mean, huge speed across large numbers of hashes. Okay, to get that into kind of an idea, when we say large, we mean 61 million in this instance, and MDX Find is designed to get relatively good and similar performance actually regardless of the number of hashes you attack. So you can see here attacking a single hash, and this is based on my, my laptop at the time, but uh, a single hash it was guessing at you know 14.8 million guesses a second, but in a 61 million hash list uh, it didn't actually drop very much as you can see here. So phenomenal performance based on CPU cracking on very, very large hash lists. We've included another reference guide here to another one of these resources that gives you a number of different um, attack techniques and use cases for MDX Find. So how can we look at using it to attack unknown hashes? Well, here is uh, here's some example syntax. There are, of course, more switches than this. But at a base level, we would call MDX Find. If we're unsure of the hash type we're targeting, we would specify all to search every algorithm. You'll see when MDX Find loads, it supports a number of different algorithms, and we will see that shortly. We then often want to, um, say, exclude explicitly salted hashes with the uh, exclamation mark salt. Uh, any iterations of MD5, uh, anything that requires usernames and some implicitly salted algorithms like bcrypt for example, which by virtue of the algorithm requires a salt uh, by default. You can optionally add an iteration count as well, which is quite nice, uh, and that kind of thing also is nice in things like CTFs as well, when you might have an MD5 of an MD5 of an MD5, so on and so forth. You give it your target hash list with a dash F switch, follow it up with the word list, and then you know append to a file if you actually if you want to optionally. You can also um, combine this with MD Split, another tool that's available from the same mirror alluded to in the earlier slide. And what MD Split will do is it will take all of your different password algorithms that you're attacking in your MDX Find session and then split them out into individual results files, which are um, also titled by the hashing algorithm, making it easier to identify. In this instance, you can see we've got varying different files um, containing different hashing algorithms. And after running it through MDX Find, you can see it generates a file with, in this case, MD4, MD5, NTLM, and you know so on and so forth in the file name. So you can very quickly identify the algorithm and your cracked password. Okay, let's do it. We've got a number of uh, different hashing algorithms in the exercise 14 mixed hashes file on your uh, Kali VMs, and we want to use MDX Find to try and attack them. So. Let's go into Kali first of all and have a look at these mixed hashes. You can see here we've got one, two, three, four, five hashes here, okay, in total. So we don't know what algorithms these are, but we have them in a single file, and this is something we can give to MDX find. So let's first of all uh, CD into our MDX find folder because for this one, uh, my command that I'm copying and pasting will require us to be in there. 
We are going to run the MDX find static binary. We want to attack every hashing algorithm. We want to exclude uh, explicitly and implicitly sorted algorithms and ones that require a username. We've just got hashes. We are going to iterate up to five times just to see if there's anything that's a, a kind of like a nested hash in there. We're going to give it our file path to our hashes, give it our Google word list, and we're going to mangle it with the rules. Why not? MDX find luckily for us supports our hash cat rules even better. Bear in mind that this is CPU cracking. So we start this and very quickly we can see there's a ton of output to screen. We've got the iteration set to 5, okay, it's read uh, a number of rules from our file and you can see the hash types it's working on. Starting here we can see all the hash types that MDX find supports. Absolutely loads of them as you can see. Um, and as we scroll down we can see here already that it started to crack some hashes for us. So here we are, uh, MD, MD5 X03. So the X03 here indicates it's iterated three times. Okay, so it's an MD5 that's been MD5 uh, two times more to get a, a sort of a, th a third iteration of the MD5. Similar to Hashcat, after a colon, we get a clear text password here. So we have two hashes that are MD5 times three, so to speak, and their clear text passwords afterwards. We have an NTLM hash here, okay, with a clear text password at the end. Now, interestingly, we have what appears to be a duplicate, okay? We have busy, busy, and then busy, busy, again, our two clear text passwords, yet the algorithms appear to be different. Now, these are, in fact, the same things. MDX find uh, separates NTLM from MD4 UTF-16, but as an NTLM hash is, in fact, an MD4 UTF-16 uh, encoded password, um, of, of, the, of the password itself, they are, in fact, one in the same. Uh, but for some reason, we have two kind of... Uh, overarching algorithm categories for them but NTLM and this are the same thing which is why we've got the same password we also have a whirlpool hash here that's been iterated twice and we again have the clear text password at the end now, MDX find, of course, is a, uh, a CPU cracker, not a GPU cracker, and despite the speeds we saw in an earlier slide, they are going to be nothing in comparison to the speeds we can achieve using Hashcat and dedicated GPU hardware. However, you know, uh, this might be a different use case we're looking at for MDX find. If we have a known algorithm, if, we, if you know you're attacking NTLM and you have uh, GPUs at your disposal, there's not really a good reason to use uh, MDX find. This is, so this is more slightly different use cases for unknown hashes or for large numbers of unknown hashes as we saw earlier uh, MDX find really excels at taking really large hash lists and putting it through the paces now this won't take too much longer to finish but we're not going to actually crack anymore and you'll see here we've only got one two three pieces of duplicate four we've only got four passwords here and if you recall when we started this exercise we had five hashes in our um, hash file that's a little that's a little uh, easter egg for you see if you can crack that we're not going to cover it but needless to say it will be uh, it will be cracked using mdx find and maybe a slightly different uh, attack method so have some fun with that to see if you can crack it so there we go. There's our uh, syntax to complete it, and we did see that we have uh, a few different hashing algorithms there that um, MDX find made easy work of. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed that. Do see if you can crack that last elusive hash in the file, see if you can test your skills, and look forward to seeing you in the next video.